Hello! Look what I've got here. It's a very big box. Big enough to be buried in. But enough of being buried. Let's get this bad boy opened. This is the Vax Dual V Advanced Upright Carpet Washer. Vax claim it's their most powerful carpet washer or best performing. I'll be the judge of that Vax, you know me. I'm not one to take anybody else's word for it unless I've tested it out myself. Fortunately, I'm staying in a house different to my own with dirty, dirty carpets. So I'll be testing this on some old stains and some ingrained muck. But first of all, we need to get this out of the huge box and assembled, ready for use. Well, I've put the machine on its side because I'm assuming, judging by the tape around the top, this is how I open it. I've had to move furniture out of the way to fit this in, you know. So, before I start, I would say if you've got a tiny house, or a small apartment, or flat, this is probably not the cleaner for you. I think this is more aimed at people with lots of carpet to clean, um, rather than people who need something small and lightweight. If you want something small and lightweight, check out the Vax Dual Power, or some of the other smaller Vax machines. This one is part of the advanced range, so it's the big daddy of Vax cleaners. And it's also one of the Vax carpet washers that has a six year parts and labour guarantee. That won't include parts that can wear down, like the spin scrub brushes, but parts like that you can buy direct from Vax's website. But should anything else go wrong with the machine, other than you needing to replace parts, then as long as you register it with Vax, either by post or on their website, you should be covered for a full six years from date of purchase. Obviously that's if you use it in a domestic environment. If you use it in a business, then I don't think you will get the same guarantee. You might get a year's guarantee if you use it commercially. But this is not meant for commercial use. If you want a commercial use machine, Vax do actually have a commercial division and they do have a carpet washer in their range. I'm just having a bit of difficulty getting this off. I don't think there's a lot of assembly with this. If you want to know more about the various Vax machines you can check the website and you can even download instruction manual before you get it so you can read up about the machine so you're clued up because I know you'll be very excited to get to cleaning your carpets but always best to read the instructions first Ah, oh, well it's more blue than I thought it would be the, the transparent pieces are a lot more blue than it looks like on the box I'd rather they were clear transparent but anyway I don't think that's going to be a deal breaker first thing to come out is this handle it feels pretty robust and I think this is the main bit you have to assemble. No tools are going to be needed because it just pushes on and locks into place at the turn of this little dial here. So there's the handle with the tr trigger. I was going to say trigger. Trigger? No, I did say trigger. No, what I mean is I was thinking trigger as in the character in Only Fools and Horses. This is not the character in Only Fools and Horses. This is the trigger that you release a shampoo and the front little bracket on here is you'd attach the handheld spin scrub tool to that. So there's the handle. So far so good. Now then, it's like pass the parcel. There's a smaller box inside the bigger box. Where's my scissors? Ah, there we are. Tells me what's in here. Tools. So what sort of tools are in this box? Ooh. Soon see, won't we? Right, so in the box mark tools, we get one bracket there and another bracket 
I assume both these brackets get round here a bit. Both these brackets, again, you don't need tools for this. You will just fit them on without needing a screwdriver. I believe there will be something to do to support the hose on the machine. And possibly, judging by these little orange hooks, it's possibly where you store the flex. There we go. Now, apart from that, you get two hand tools. This one with a static brush, suitable for doing your upholstery, your stairs, all your general cleaning, your car seats inside your car where you need a small area. And it's also ideal for doing areas where your carpet washer won't clean if you've got big pieces of furniture that you can't really move, but you've got carpet, you know, say a bit of furniture and then there's a fireplace and there's just a small area to clean and obviously you want everything clean. You can do all around the edges and in those nooks and crannies first with the small nozzle, which is what I do when I'm washing a carpet. I go all around the areas, then clean the main area. So it's the first nozzle again, see-through, so you can see all the dirt being removed by the suction of the cleaner. So use that with the hose, which I'll be showing you shortly. And then the final thing inside the box marked tools is the spin scrub hand tool. So this works in a similar way to a turbo brush in the fact that it's air powered. So when this is connected to the hose, the suction powers a turbine inside here, which in turn will rotate the spin scrub brushes. So giving you a bit of extra agitation for stubborn stains. You've still got the clear see-through nozzle so you can see all the dirt being removed. So basically it's just like a mini version of the upright. Right then, what's next? Next to come out is the hose. Now this isn't the Reach model, they do other variants, all very similar. But this is just the standard Jewel B Advance. They do a model called Reach and I believe they do a total home one that will also wash your hard floors. So I don't know if this is designed to get right up the stairs. Looking at it now, I don't think it will reach right up the stairs, but during my main test, I will see. But I don't think it is designed. It looks a bit short for that. If you desperately need to have a machine for stair cleaning, then look at the similar reach model. So that's that. What else is there in the box, I think? Just the main machine now. So, it might be easier if I tilt it this way. And slide it out. Maybe not. That's it. Move the flex. Ah, something extra in there. Small bottle of Vax Ultra Plus carpet cleaning solution. Obviously that's not going to do very much, especially if you've got a whole house to clean. So my advice, before you buy one of these, get at least one full-size bottle of detergent. Because it would be very frustrating once you've started cleaning your carpet to run out of solution. So I think he'll just come out of the box now. Trying to keep my belly sucked in. Because it will obscure the machine. There we go. And right at the bottom, the instruction manual. Let's just pop all the inserts back. Go, move that to one side. And here we have the cleaner. Certainly, it does not really look very much like the picture in the Argos catalogue, where I bought this from, or on the box. It certainly 
the translucent parts are a lot bluer. Personally, I would have preferred them to be clear, completely clear, so you can really see the dirt. But you'll still be able to see how full these tanks are. They are see-through, but they're just tinted blue. Not, not as big, obviously, as the box, but it is still a big machine. It's got a wide cleaning path. It's got a large capacity. So, like I say, this is one of Vax's big boys, and it's best if you've got larger areas of carpet to clean. And I assume it's a fair weight. Obviously, if you have solution in it, it will be heavier. Right then, let's just do the, foot, the small steps to assemble the rest of this cleaner. Right, so the first thing we need to do is attach the handle to the top of the unit here. Obviously the handle goes this way on with the uh, curved part facing the back of the machine and obviously the bracket that holds the spin scrub hand tool that needs to be at the front. So you can see here on the little locking piece there's an open padlock and a closed padlock. Make sure it's in the open padlock position before you put it onto the machine. So now we've got it positioned, just turn it all the way around to the locked position. If it's not turning, don't force it, just make sure you've got it correctly installed. And then that's it. This is good because if you need to store the machine away, because with the carpet washer it doesn't come out as often as your vacuum cleaner, and if you need to put it at the back of your cupboard under the stairs, say, and there's not so much height, obviously under your stairs, it normally goes like that, doesn't it? You can actually remove the handle very easily. So you've just got a little bit of extra space, you can put the handle next to it, and then it will fit into a lower cupboard. So that goes on really easily, on off like that. Then your spin scrub tool. Now which way does that go on? I should have... No, it's this way I think. There we go. Turn that round for you to see. That's a spin scrub tool. Just clicks into place. You remove it easily like this. Say so easily, there we are. If you want to keep the machine a bit lighter, obviously you don't have to keep that on board. I mean, it does add to the weight of the cleaner. So you don't have to keep that there, but it's there for when you need to use it. Now then, next thing we need to do is attach these two pieces here. These are the supports for the hose and also the cord hooks. So this is the top one, and that's located here. You'll see that there's a little grey locking piece. Again, make sure, before you put it in, you need to make sure that the little grey part, it's very hard to show you on here, but it needs to be in the horizontal position. You don't want it diagonal. Um, no, sorry, the vertical position. You don't want it in the horizontal position like that because it won't go in. You need to make sure it's like that in order for you to put it into the slot here. So you offer it up to the cleaner, this way up. Whoops, there we go. Like that. When you've got it in place, turn the little locking, grey locking ring thing, and then that's in place there. And you do the same with the bottom piece. So again, we've got a similar connection for the bottom. The bottom piece goes that way up. Again, make sure that the little locking piece there is vertical, not horizontal. And again, offer it up to the whole the base of the cleaner and then turn to lock. And then that's it. Now, we can get, actually we'll get the hose first and you can store the hose, in fact you can probably store the hose with the other nozzle on the end there and the hose
clips onto the machine like this. You've got this piece, which um, I can't show you. Let me just go up a bit for you. There we are, that's better. This piece dangles a bit. This is actually the solution tube that carries the solution through the hose to the end of the nozzle where the spray is. And it just dangles a bit, so maybe just pop it. No, it won't even go there. With previous models, Vax did supply a clip that would hold that, so it is a little bit loose. I suppose if I turn, you could turn it around, that's a bit better. Turn it around to the inside, and then it's not sort of too in the way. And then we've got your cord wind hooks, so all the cord will wind up on here. So that is basically the machine assembled, ready to be used. I won't wind all the flex up now. But once the flex is fully wound up, on the end of the plug you've got this little clip and you use that to clip to the end of the flex, another part of the flex, and it just keeps it from falling over or just unravelling when you're carrying the cleaner. So that's the Jewel V Advanced Carpet Washer assembled. I'll just take you through the various features for this video and the next video I'll do will be a full demonstration video and a review. So here we have the machine fully assembled and ready for its maiden voyage. As soon as we've filled the tank with warm water and solution, we'll be ready to use this. So I'll just take you through the machine from top to bottom. Obviously here's the handle and here's the trigger that you use to release the solution onto your carpet. The built-in spin scrub wash tool the top here, this side, we've got your mains on off button. Press that once to turn the machine on. Press it again to turn it off. And at the other side, we've got this slide switch with three different settings. So when you initially wash your carpets, you obviously have it in the wash setting. A good idea, it's not 100% necessary, but it, it's probably something that I would do and recommend especially with this machine because it has a rinse option. When you've actually shampooed your carpets, if you go over it in the rinse mode, this means it'll only distribute clean water onto the carpet. It won't mix the shampoo in, so it's just putting clean water down. So this helps to make sure any residue of the solution is removed. So it's just an extra step. It takes a bit longer, but the results are worth it. And then a third step with this machine, which again adds to the time it takes to wash your carpets, but it will reduce the time your carpets take to dry, is Max Extract. When using this setting here, in conjunction with this Max Extract foot operated pedal, it just means all the power of the machine is, is dedicated to the suction at the nozzle. So really, it's a three stage process for this machine, wash, rinse, and max extract, a bit like an automatic washing machine. You wouldn't wash your clothes without going through the rinse and spin cycle. So the same with washing your carpets. You wash, rinse, and then max extract, which is basically like the washing machine spinning. That is one reason why I went for this model over a similar priced Bissell, although the Bissell had a dual brush bar, a different uh, type of agitation, it's quite good. It didn't have the rinse feature and it didn't have this max extract. And for me, a carpet washer, it has to be able to wash well, but equally important, it has to be able to extract the water. Obviously, I don't know how this is going to perform until I've tested it, but that really is what swayed me to go for this rather than the Bissell. But initially, we'd have it on the wash setting. Obviously, you've seen the back of the machine when I assembled it. That's the stretch hose and we've got all the cord wrapped around the back for storage. You can, when you start to use the machine, either hook will turn up or down. So you can turn the hook and then release all the cable at once. Just saves you having to unwind it, you know, slowly like that. On the other side of the Max Extract pedal, you've got your recline pedal, which obviously reclines the machine from the upright position to the operating position. Here we have your clean water tank. 
and to remove the tank from the machine you've got a little button here press that and out comes the tank with a handy carry handle so you can carry that to your sink now there are two containers in here don't get them mixed up one container you put your clean hot water just sort of hot enough to put your hand under not boiling water you'll ruin the machine hand hot water from your tap and also just another tip if you haven't got any water if your water isn't hot I suggest you start up your boiler or your immersion heater before you wash your carpets half an hour before just to make sure you've got a, a lot of hot water to use this does have some heating technology to it but it doesn't really heat the water it heats the the cleaning path so it's always best put hand hot water in this side just remove this bit here and then the larger of the tank there's two tanks you can just see the second tank in there so this side is the one you put your water in and this side is the smaller tank that's where you put your solution in and you do not dilute it you just put neat detergent in there and there's a maximum fill line on both the detergent and the water so don't fill it above that line now you put it in neat because the machine itself will mix the solution with your hot water automatically so you're not having to measure anything out so that's another advantage of this machine certainly the the Bissell I was looking at didn't have that feature some Bissells do mix the detergent for you but the one I was looking at doesn't so again that's why I like this machine so there's no guesswork as long as you fill it up you don't have to fill it right up to the top but as long as you don't go over the max line and again you don't have to fill the clean water it depends if you're cleaning a big room then obviously you need to fill it right up to the top if you're doing a quick um, stain removal just a small area don't fill it up but the advantage of this if you haven't used all the warm water you can tip that out separately but you can still leave the detergent in the tank ready for next time so when you tip the water out that will stay in there as long as you keep the cap on so there we go the tank just fits in locate it into the machine just at the bottom first make sure it's located in the bottom and then push forward at the top until it clicks into place now this is the dirty water tank you can see just like the Vax floor mate their hard floor washer you have two separate tanks so dirty and clean never can mix so there's no way they can mix up so you're never going to put any dirty water on your carpet with this machine it's it can't happen it says he well I, it can't happen not under normal circumstances here is the very nice large capacity tank again useful carry handle there this is where all your dirty water comes in there is a maximum fill line so it's always advisable advisable to just keep your eye on that but it doesn't matter if you forget to keep checking because there is a float valve a safety valve that will cut off the suction when you need to change uh, empty the solution so there's a little orange cap here and then it's whoops a daisy then you've got a hinged lid so once you've opened that tip that down your sink down your outside drain or down your toilet my advice to you is down your toilet or outside drain especially if you've been picking up any accidents left by your family pets there's a little mesh filter there which could get uh, fluff and hairs on make sure you keep that clean and I believe this will be the float valve that will raise as the water level in the tank raises the float valve raises up and it will block off this little hole here so it will block off the majority of the suction and you'll know when that's happened because the motor will change in tone it'll, it'll have a high pitched tone when it blocks off the suction Another advantage of this over, say, the Bissell, which has a tank in tank, it's a bit easier to clean. There's still a few sort of areas where dirt could sort of gather, but it seems, you know, at first glance, it's more accessible to clean out. You can actually get your tap into there, give it a good swirl around. What I tend to do with this type of machine, first of all, empty it, then half fill it with hot water. Then what I'd do, I'd close it properly close it with the catch 
Then I go outside and just give it a really vigorous shake to help dislodge any muck. Then I tip it out and then probably do that again. It's important really just, just to spend a little time cleaning your machine after you've used it because you don't want it smelling when you use it again because it could be in your cupboard you know, for several months if you don't clean too often. So it's, it'll always be fresh and ready for use again. This is your main suction nozzle. Now Joule V is basically the suction is diverted into two channels here which Vax say it will mean you'll get full suction right across this nozzle and it, it intensifies the suction as well. Underneath here there's a little flap. This is the hole where you'd put the cleaning hose and I'll be demonstrating that later so that's the hose you'd use for your upholstery and uh, your stairs etc and that's the little port where you connect your solution tube to that's where the cleaning solution comes from and that's where you get the suction from. Now I believe you can take the uh, nozzle front off but because I've forgotten about that and I haven't checked the instructions I won't show you that yet but I believe you can do that. Let's just show you the underside of the machine and show you why this is a little bit different to some other carpet washers. And this is another advantage. These are the spin scrub brushes. And as you can see, they run the full width of the cleaner. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's a nice wide cleaning width. You've also got these static brushes. So that will get right close to your skirting board. It'll help to brush along at, to the edges of the carpet. So these brushes, when the machine's switched on, they rotate like that, but at a very high speed. And the advantage of them going this way is it helps to clean every side of the carpet fibre, rather than some machines that just have one agitator that rotates like an upright vacuum. This works more like a sort of lots of little scrubbing brushes. And it's a bit more gentle. Some machines are a bit vigorous, especially some of the Bissell ones. So it's going to give you effective cleaning, but it's not going to be too harsh on your carpets. This does come out for cleaning, and it also dismem dismembers, dismantles as well. Um, you can take each individual spin scrub brush out if it needs a thorough clean. There's also a little filter under here, which you need to check from time to time to keep that clean. These are all little maintenance tips that are in the instruction book. If you get stuck with anything, the Vax do have a helpline. But there's a lots, lots of useful information on their website. You can also look at that before you give Vax a call. So, like I say, this all will be moved, but I'm not going to force anything, but it does come out for cleaning. You see right at the front here, it's the thin channel where the suction is. So because it's so thin, it concentrates the suction. So what the machine does, it distributes the shampoo and the, clean, and the hot water to the carpet agitates it into the pile using the spin scrub brushes and as you pull the machine back all the dirty water is removed into the dirty water tank via this thin strip here. So that's about everything to show you on the machine. Let's just put it back in the upright position. And let's just see, there's a little label on here, what does this say? Important, please empty tanks after use, only use with Vax Carpet Cleaning Solution. Additional solution is available at vax.co.uk. There's a care line number there. So if you can't uh, work out what to do, you can ring Vax's number. But like I say, always check the website first, because often the questions have been asked and answered for you. So there's nothing to clip in. There's no clips. You just locate... Just locate the dirty water tank on the machine like that. So that's the introduction to the Vax Jewel V Advance carpet washer. Stay tuned because shortly on my channel I'll be uploading a full demo, demo of this showing you how it cleans the carpets and I'll be demonstrating tool use and everything that you need to know about this machine. So thanks for watching. If you like this machine if you'd like to know more, if you'd like to know more about various other floor care appliances, subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified of any new uploads. See you soon.